Hey, what is up guys, Dark Angel Maggie here, and uh, welcome to my anime collection for the year of 2014. Um, I didn't do one of these last year because it was part of my manga collection because I didn't have that much anime, but now because I've got quite a lot of anime, or you know, a substantial amount of anime to warrant making a video about it, here I am with the video. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to get started. My anime collection is in three parts because I'm running in, um, I'm running out of uh, shelf space, but obviously I'm, it's all going to be in one video, so I'm just going to kind of flip around my room like I did with my, my manga, manga collection, uh, if you saw that. Uh, talking about my manga collection, I uh, neglected to show one thing um, because it was on my anime shelf, so uh, I'm going to show that to you right now. Um, and that is uh, Speed Graffer. Um, not Speed Graffer, uh, Speed Racer, sorry. Mac Go 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 Complete, original manga by Tatsuo, Tatsuo Yoshida. Uh, comes in this nice, beautiful hardcover box set. There you go. Uh, so if if you are heading over um, to the anime collection video from the manga collection video, uh, then yeah, that's the one thing that I forgot to show. Whoops, things falling over already. Never a good sign. That's a bad omen. Um, hold on, let's kind of put this stuff back in place real quick so it looks kind of neat and tidy for you all. Okay, all right, so we're going to start on the top shelf here. Um, I'm going to get out of the light. Uh, first thing is uh, Voltron, Defenders of the Universe. Um, Defender of, yeah, Defenders of the Universe. Collection 1. Um, I think it's like the first, I don't know, maybe 10 episodes, something like that. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, Ghost in the Shell, Solid State Society, Steelbook. Um, I'm still to watch I'm still to watch the uh, uh, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex anime. So, uh, again, similarly with my um, my manga collection, a lot of the anime here, uh, I'm still to watch, you know, I also have a, an anime backlog. But I think it's good to have a backlog because you always have something to watch and you never get bored. There's always, you know, a good selection of things to watch. Uh, anyway, uh, then we've got the little slim pack of uh, the Animatrix OVA series. Uh, I really enjoyed the Animatrix, it was pretty awesome. Uh, then we have uh, the save edition of Mushishi, um, one of my favourite series of all time. Uh, although I haven't finished watching it, I've, uh, I think I've still got about 10 episodes of something to watch. Brilliant series. Um, then we have uh, Jiu Ose, uh, Planet of the Beast King, uh, 11 episode series. I started watching it, it was okay, uh, but I kind of dropped it. Uh, I'm going to pick it up at some point, but I'm not in a rush. Uh, then we have uh, Black Blood Brothers, uh, Vampire series, still to watch. Um, then we have uh, Eureka 7, Part 1 and 2, um, or Eureka 7, however you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Eureka 7. Uh, these are the Anime Legends box sets uh, by Bees Entertainment, which are long, long, long out of print. So I'm really, uh, I'm really thankful to have them. Uh, then we have uh, Kaon, the complete series, or I should say probably the first season because the complete series, you know, uh, this isn't the complete series. This is just actually the first 14 episodes. I uh, really look forward to watching Kaon. Um, you know, I'm quite stickler for when it comes to uh, like Moe sort of, um, you know, things. And then we have a uh, Bamboo Blade, complete series, all 26 episodes. Um, uh, this is a recommendation, um, and I decided to pick it up. Uh, then we have uh, Giver, the Buy Boosted Armor. Uh, I re kind of regret picking this up because it's so bad. Uh, I watched a few episodes of it and it was just absolutely terrible. But because I own it, um, you know, I I've kind of got this thing where if I own it, then I'm going to have to watch it and review it. So <laughs> expect a really bad review of this, you know, sometime in the next decade. Um, okay, uh, and then we have uh, Oran High School Host Club. I did a review of this. Um, I absolutely loved this anime. It's absolutely brilliant. I love the voice acting, everything about this, the, the comedy. It's such a brilliant anime. Uh, then we have the first season of Darker Than Black. Um, still to watch this, uh, but I thought it's pretty good. Uh, next we have uh, Claymore, the complete anime series. Um, really great series, terrible ending um, because it ended on a filler. Uh, then we have uh, Phantom Requiem for the Phantom, the complete series. Uh, decided to pick this up because I only have the first part uh, of the American release, which I won from the Walking Series or Dead in his competition, like way back when. Uh, then we have uh, Knowing uh, to Your Self, one of my favourite series, um, or currently one of my favourite series. I absolutely love this series, everything about the story, the characters, everything, just brilliant. Uh, then we have uh, Fruits Basket, complete collection. Um, I, won the, I got this on a MVM deal of the week at some point last year, or this year, should I say. Oh! When I say this here, uh, when I'm recording this, obviously it's uh, still 2014, so uh, if you're watching this in 2015, then yeah, it's still, it still is last year, but whatever. Uh, Samurai Deep Akio, complete series, started watching this, uh, really didn't like it, um, but we'll end up finishing off at some point. Uh, next we have uh, Love Hina, the complete series, uh, and it's got some uh, specials, um, the Christmas and Spring specials, uh, 8 disc collection. I think it's like a harem, um, I think it's obviously a harem. 
Uh, I've heard about it for years, uh, and it seemed pretty interesting, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get around to watching it at some point. Uh, I'm just going to pull off my chair, because I'm kind of breaking my back here. Um, kind of like bending over. It's really, really, really bad for your back. Okay, uh, that's a little bit more comfortable. Alright, uh, next we have uh, Morabito, Guardian of the Spirit. Uh, I enjoyed this anime. Um, it wasn't what I totally expected, but it was pretty enjoyable. Um, you could definitely tell with the writing and things that like it's adapted from light novels. Um, just something about it. Uh, but it was a good it was a good series. You know, the action scenes were you know, really well animated. I think it's uh, um, animated by Production IG, actually. Um, next we have uh, Ergo Proxy, uh, something I recently picked up. Uh, in fact, I actually bought this from uh, Laser Shark KH, so shout out to him. Um, it's something I've been wanting for a very long time, but it's always been really expensive, and I got it for a really good deal off him because he was selling it off. And it's brand new, so, you know, thank you so much, um, Ledger Shark. You know, uh, you have my admiration and appreciation. You know, you're a really underrated YouTuber, and I think you, get, you, know, I think you need more praise. Uh, next we have uh, Welcome to NHK. That's uh, something I've heard about for years. Um, you know, something I'm definitely, you know, to need to watch at some point, uh, but I will get around to it. Uh, I'm just going to move this Christmas card on top because it's going to fall off at some point. Um... Next we have uh, Chobits. Uh, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, uh, but it was a good series. It was okay. Um, you know, kind of the first clamp thing that I've watched all the way through. And uh, yeah, it, it was just okay. You know, it's kind of average for my taste. Uh, next we have uh, Fate Stay Night. Uh, another thing I bought on the uh, MVM deal of the week. I've heard many things about Fate Stay Night and Fate Zero, and you know, obviously there's the Unlimited Blade Works that's uh, currently airing this season. Um, but I'm going to start with this because it's, I think it's the original sort of series, you know, it's, it, this is where it all kind of started, I believe, so, so yeah, uh, Fate Stay Night. Uh, next we have, uh, Lime Barrels of Iron, uh, this is another, uh, pick up from the MB, um, MBM Deal of the Week. Uh, watched the first episode of this, um, and I really liked it, so I decided to pick it up. I don't know how it's going to be for the rest of the series, so it might be a pretty terrible series because all the mechs are in CGI. Uh, so, you know, I'm not really, I'm not a massive fan of CGI. Uh, especially when it's not really implemented that well with you know traditional animation. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, next we have um, uh, Samurai Champloo, um, uh, another Shinichiro Watanabe release that I own. Uh, really looking forward to this, but I would probably you know I'd, I'd end up probably swapping this for the the really you know the really sexy Blu-ray release that's just been released by MVM. You know, it's coming in a nice you know box set and stuff like that. So. I don't know. Uh, anyway, next uh, we have the complete series of Gantz. Um, I've seen this before and I really, really enjoyed it, but I uh, I never watched it all the way to the end. Um, but I do understand that it's got a filler ending because you know the manga's like a lot longer. It's like thirty odd volumes. Uh, probably one of the only, one of the few series that has a lot of fan service that I can you know kind of stomach, you know, and you know I don't really mind it. Uh, next we have uh, the complete series of Berserk. Um, I've read the manga uh, up to volume 19 and it's absolutely brilliant so I've got you know high expectations for Berserk um, especially if I, I like early 90s or just mid 90s late 90s I like I just generally like 90s anime because that's what I grew up with so uh, yeah, I, th I think I really like this uh, next we have um, a Requiem from the Darkness I think this is a, a six episode OVA series or something like that I'm not really sure um I don't really know too much about it, it's just a blind buy from the MVM deal of the week, so yeah, that's that. Um, let's move over a little bit. Okay, uh, now the bottom shelf, this is probably going to be a little bit harder to kind of pull stuff out because things are kind of falling down and that's something that I don't want. Uh, Kids on a Slope, uh, another of my Shinichiro, Shinichiro Watanabe releases um, about music and jazz and stuff like that. I really look forward to watching it. Uh, can I put that down? I'm kind of things dropping all over the place. Um, next uh, we have uh, Fuli Kuli, uh, one of my favourite animes of all time, I uh, absolutely love this series, it's so funny, it's so wacky, it's so crazy, and uh, you know, for its multi-layered plot, you know, you really need like a keen eye to be able to appreciate this, um, you know, I really love it. Um, okay, next we got uh, Outlaw Star, um, another one of my favourite animes of all time, I uh, watched this one as a kid, Tsunami, absolutely brilliant. Uh, One Piece collections one through seven. Uh, One Piece is, is you know the anime is okay. Uh, the an the actual animation the pacing is pretty bad, but uh, you know I'm a massive fan of One Piece, so obviously I picked them up. Uh, we have uh, Howl's Moving Castle. You know this is from a few of my Studio Ghibli films. Howl's Moving Castle, uh, Spirited Away, and uh, from up on Poppy Hill. You know can never go wrong with Studio Ghibli. 
And it's got uh, Elf and Lead, the uh, complete uh, series, the, um, the limited edition collection. Um, I really didn't like Elf and Lead. Uh, you know, I I just I I just couldn't get my head around it. It was just you know the the whole incest thing and the you know the really the gratuitous violence and I don't know. I I just didn't really like it. Um, next we have a uh, Bacano. This is uh, the American release. I think it's uh, released by Aniplex. Uh, this is what I won from uh, Walking Zero Zero Dead, um, you know, like last year or whenever. Uh, this is the next thing I'm going to be watching because I've just finished watching Code Geass, uh, reviewed that. Uh, so this is going to be the next on my watch list. So I'm looking forward to watching this. I've, just, I've heard many good things about it. Uh, next we have the uh, Phantom, recommend for the Phantom uh, Part 1 uh, limited edition box set, which I also won from uh, Walking Zero Zero Dead, similarly with uh, Bacano. Uh, then we have the uh, individual eleven um, special or OVA or whatever this is. You know, I think it's just basically um, a rundown of uh, the second gig um, with like some extra animation or something like that. Uh, then we have uh, Code Geass R uh, season one and R two. Um, just recently watched Code Geass, really great series. Uh, if you want to see my review of that, then you know go ahead and check that out. Next we have uh, Sherlock Hound. Uh, um, another series by uh, Hayao Miyazaki. I think it's one of the first things, or uh, one of the w one of his earliest works, at least. Um, yeah, yeah, I really love the box set. It's really pretty. Even though I'm not a massive fan of Sh anything to do with Sherlock Holmes or anything associated with Sherlock Holmes, uh, I'm not really a massive fan of detective stuff. Uh, but you know, I'll, I picked up anyway. Next, you have the uh, the Karas, uh double feature box set. Uh, the Prophecy and the Revelation. Um, the Prophecy was good. I'm still to watch the Revelation. Um, yeah, it, it was okay. Uh, next we have uh, the Robotech Complete Series, or like all three series. Uh, I would like to see a release of the original Japanese like Macross Saga and stuff like that because the Robotech is basically just an Americanized version of it which is highly edited and the story is different, the characters are different, you know, um, from what I'm aware of. I've never seen Macross or anything like that, but uh, yeah, I'm going to watch this and give you my opinion of it, you know, some, you know at some point. Uh, next we have a uh, Paranoia Agent. This is something I recently picked up. This is the uh, special edition box set from MVM. Uh, I absolutely love this release. You know, it's beautiful chipboard box set. Um, yeah, uh, Paranoia Agent was just recently on the MVM deal of the week, so um, you know it's came. It's like ten pound. So I went on Play. dot com. Um, you know to look for it, and uh, this came up, and it was exactly the same price. In fact, it was a little bit more expensive. I think it was about thirteen pound. Uh, but I decided to pick this up instead of the actual. You know this the normal sort of plastic uh you know dvd box uh next uh speed grapher another chipboard uh limited edition um i picked this up used and it's pretty much in uh or it is completely uh in pristine condition uh this is another mvm release you know i wish mvm would release more of these uh chipboard box sets i think they have i think they have released fate zero and things like that you know on the blu-ray sort of chipboard box sets but you don't really get to see that many of them nowadays um, next, another of my favourite series of all time, Black Lagoon, The Complete Barrage. This is uh, season one and season two. Uh, watched this last year, um, and I absolutely loved it. And uh, I just, I just love this box set. It's just so good. You know, it's massively out of print, but um, you know, you can still pick up uh, Black Lagoon on Blu-ray, I believe. Uh, next, we have a uh, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex. Uh, this is the first gig. Um, I've had this for a while now. I uh, haven't watched it. I'm just going to marathon all the way through the Ghost in the Shell uh, standalone complex series, you know, as and when I can. Probably after Bacano or something like that. Uh, we have the uh, the second gig. Um, again, with this chipboard box set. These chipboard box sets are really difficult to find um, because you go on Amazon, you, you know, it, it, it's easy to come across, uh, you know, standalone complex, but to come across the chipboard box sets, you know, it's, it's pretty difficult to find. And people have had, you know, a lot of difficulty trying to look for them. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it for that shelf. That's kind of like my main shelf. Uh, now we'll head over here. Um, we have got a little bit of anime over here, not too much, but you know this should basically just anime that didn't fit on my main shelf. Uh, we've got uh, Rin, Daughters of Mnemosyne. Uh I reviewed this about a year ago. Uh, I enjoyed it, uh, but it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Um, hold on, I'm just going to grab my chair back. Because I'm killing my back again. I don't want to be a paraplegic for the rest of my life. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 Advent Children, never played Final Fantasy 7, not, you know, I don't want to say I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, I just never grew up with it, so, you know, it's not, it's not something that's, like, essential to my, like, my, you know, my gaming or anything like that, you know, I'll probably get a lot of stick for that, but, 
you know, I never really grew up with like, you know, computer consoles or anything like that. I was always, you know, just doing different things. So, you know, I think I feel that's something I've missed out on. Uh Final Fantasy, you know. Anyway, uh it's a Toshi Kong film, Tokyo Godfathers. Absolutely brilliant film, loved it. Satoshi Kon is, I mean, Satoshi Kon, sorry, is a genius, you know, rest in peace. Uh, Highlander, Search for Vengeance, uh, picked this up because it was a bit cheap. Uh, yeah, no more to say on that. Uh, Musashi, The Dream of the Last Samurai, uh, a documentary about the, you know, the life and basically the tactics of uh, Mimos and Musashi, and you know, uh, what can I say? It was, it was pretty bad. It was really, really bad. Uh, the uh, the whole thing was just practically CGI. It was really irritating, uh, and you know the cover and everything else about it is really misleading. Um, because when you actually watch it, it's just a doc like a really bad documentary. Um, yeah, I really didn't enjoy it. Uh, next we have uh, Street Fighter Two, the movie. Um, yeah, again, you know I never grew up with like you know computer consoles and anything like that. So Street Fighter is never something I've really been into. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really into fighting games or anything like that. So. But I own it, so whatever. Uh, next we have uh, Blade of the Immortal Complete Collection. Um, I think this is like a 13 episode series or something like that. Something like that. Um, but it's not a really good adap adaptation of the manga, so I hear. Um, you know, obviously I'll adjust that for myself as I want to watch it. Uh, next we have uh, Panda Go Panda, uh, created by Hayao Miyazaki, directed by Isao Takahata, obviously the, uh, the, both of the founders of Studio Ghibli. Uh, I believe this was the inspiration for My Neighbor Totoro. You can kind of you know, you can kind of grasp up with the character designs of the pandas anyway, and like the little girl and stuff like that, so, yeah, uh, an essential, uh, I've, I've watched, I think, about half of it, and it was enjoyable, you know, I, I liked it, very endearing, you know, a really classic sort of anime, um, the Appleseed OVA, uh, the original uh, Appleseed uh, OVA, uh, I enjoyed this, even though it's so old and dated, uh, you know, you just can't help but appreciate it. Uh, next we have uh, Astro Boy. Uh, greatest Astro Adventures. I think there's just like a select few episodes from the actual series. Um, you know, nothing really special about that, other than the fact that it's Astro Boy and this is Hama Tezuka, which makes it, you know, essential viewing, even though it's not, you know, you're not going to get like a whole series or anything like that. Uh, next we have uh, Blood of the Last Vampire. Uh, I love this film. One of the greatest films, you know, I've seen in a long time. Um, another one of my uh, MVM deal of the weeks. Um, F, A Tale of Memories. Uh, this is the first season, and then there's uh, F Tale of Melodies, I believe. Uh, I have no idea what this is about, um, so I really can't give you my opinion on this. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, the movie. Uh, I've seen the, I've seen the series. I'm glad that this movie is actually canon, so you know I'll be able to tie this in with the story, hopefully. Uh, looking forward to watching it at some point. Uh, next we have uh, Gundam Wing, the first and second operation, which is basically collection one and two. Um, each have got like five episodes on the, these are part of like a big box set, but I found them cheap used, but I'm hoping to get, uh, the Gundam Wing, um, uh, Bandai releases, you know, Collection 1 and 2, because apparently you can get them pretty cheap on Amazon France. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to start picking up some more Gundam in the new year. Uh, next we have, uh... Three of the Broly films, uh, Broly, The Legendary Super Saiyan, uh, Second Coming, and Bio Broly. These are amongst the first anime I ever picked up, ever. I've had these for years. Uh, yeah, what, what else can I say? Dragon Ball Z is just brilliant. Even though these films aren't really too, too you know, spectacular. I'm not a massive fan. Okay, uh, that's it for that little mini shelf. Over here we have my Blu-ray shelf. Um, it's kind of dark, so I'm going to pull over my chair again. Um, okay, uh... This shelf's a little bit messy, actually. I'll just move that button. That's actually a locket that my friend bought me for my birthday. It's a beautiful thing. You know, thank you to my best friend. Naz, uh, kind of move all this stuff out of the way. Skyrim, you do not belong here. Okay, um, so over here, that's the Ninja Scroll uh, series box set. I'm not going to open that up. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, recently wa um, watched all the way through that. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Some of the greatest animation I've ever seen. Uh, Attack on Titan Part 1, um, I'm still to pick up Collection 2, as you can see with the big white box there that's still inside it. Uh, Attack on Titan, you know, one of the greatest series that's, that aired within 2013. Uh, Shigeru Death Frenzy, uh, really underrated anime, uh, really needs to be finished, you know, it, need, it needs a continuation, you know, come on Madhouse, you know, animate that shit because, um, you know, the manga doesn't have an English release and apparently it's really good. Uh, Red Line, um... I cannot wait to watch this because I hear that the entire thing is completely hand-drawn. There's no CGI or, you know, computer-generated effects in this whatsoever. So 
I'm looking forward to watching that. Um, oh, I'm not going to get that back in there. Uh, okay, uh, Blood Sea: The Lost Dark. I cannot watch this yet without watching the Blood, uh, the Blood Sea animated series. So obviously, uh, I picked this up just because it was cheap and it, you know it came with a poster and you know uh, art cards and whatnot. So yeah, there was that. Uh, Wolf Children, one of the greatest films I watched last year, uh, one of my favourite animated films of all time, uh, Mamoru Hosoda, it's just oh, he's such a genius, I absolutely love this film, despite the weird sort of, um, you know, sexually suggestive, uh, you know, wolf ex human love scene, which is kind of awkward to watch with the family, but you know, it was a great film nonetheless. Okay, uh, this is actually a rebuy. Uh, Freedom the Complete Collection. Um, I bought this first time around and I thought my discs were defective because I couldn't get an English dub on them but after watching a review, I think it was Mar Salim's review of this, uh, he confirmed to me that it's actually the, only the first five minutes of the first episode that uh, weren't dubbed for some reason. Um, so yeah, uh, the, you know, I don't know. I'm still to watch it obviously, um, but whatever. Uh, then we have um, Black Lagoon, Roberta's Blood Trail, the uh, five episode OVA series, which is a continuation of the second barrage. And um, basically, I think the centers around Roberta, you know, hence the name, um, the badass um, uh, Colombian maid, who I really loved from the first series. Uh, okay, some steelbooks. Akira, really looking to get my hands on this. Uh, it's been out of print for many years and I've picked it up for a good deal. Um, absolutely love it. One of the f uh, first animated films I ever saw. Uh, and then we have uh, Ninja Scroll, Steelbook. Um, you know, recently we watched this. It's still an absolutely brilliant film. Uh, one of my favourite OVA series and something that I feel is underrated within the anime community, uh, Halo Legends. I absolutely love this. Halo Legends is so freaking awesome. Uh, I love this tin. Okay, uh, let's kind of move over a little bit. Okay, uh, now we have the uh, di the definitive collection of Eden of the East. Um, I had the it, just the original sort of box set for um, just the Eden of the East, you know, TV series. But this has the both of the movies in them as well, and I believe uh, an OVA maybe um, something like that. So I'll be able to watch through uh, the entirety of the story without having to pick up the you know the films individually in the Blu-ray cases because you know they're quite expensive and it's more cost-effective just by the you know the complete collection. I then with Steins Gate. Um, the complete collection. This is something I've heard about for many years, uh, or at least you know I've heard about it since it aired, and I've heard that it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to watching that. Uh, next we have uh, Eva Evangelion 1.11 and Evangelion 2.22. Uh, I can't wait for the release of 3.33. Uh, was it uh, You Cannot Redo? I believe. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a long time uh, Evangelion fan. You know, having watched the original series years ago and absolutely loved it, you know, the end of Evangelion film, which, you know, kind of, you know, wrapped everything up quite nicely. Um, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a really big Evangelion fan. Uh, no, next we have uh, Origin Spirits of the Past. Uh, it was an okay film. Um, really great animation. I watched it with the family, you know, the family really liked it. Um, I'll probably end up re-watching it at some point, but I'm not in a massive rush. Uh, I think this is the uh, first or maybe second Naruto Shippuden movie, Bonds. I think this is the second one. Um, this is the only one I own. Um, you know, I'm not a massive fan of Naruto Shippuden or like the Naruto anime in general. I like the manga, um, but yeah, picks it up a bit of cheap. Next we have uh, uh, Puella Magi Madoka Magica, the complete series. Uh, I picked this up because Immortalian was going on about how brilliant it was and how it's his favourite anime of all time and how it's like a deconstruction of the magical girl genre, which uh, instantly reminded me of Evangelion. You know, heart back to that again being, uh, you know, a deconstruction of the mech genre. So yeah, uh, I will get around to watching this at some point. Um, you know, some hopefully after Bakano. I'll probably end up watching this after Bakano and end up, you know, reviewing it. Uh, okay, uh, Apple Seed X Machina. Uh, start watching this, um, but I just didn't have time to finish it off. But you know, I do like. I really like Apple Seed, uh, and you know, I'm not. A, pardon me. Um, I'm not a massive fan of CGI, but if the if the entire feature is in CGI, then I don't mind. Um, so yeah, there's that. Then we have the uh, Eureka Seven movie. Um, uh, Good night, sleep tight, young lovers. I don't know if this is a continuation or just you know a separate thing from the series. Obviously, I haven't watched Eureka Seven yet, but. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I'm confident that it's going to be really good. Um, next we have uh, Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence. I watched this years ago. I didn't really like it, but I think I need to rewatch it to be able to appreciate it again. You know, this is probably going to be something I watch while, whilst I'm reading um, Ghost in the Shell, you know, the manga. I, I might just do like a whole sort of uh, Shiro Masamune sort of, 
you know, season where I just go through all the work, works of his that I own. Uh, yeah, uh, next we have uh, Summer Wars, uh, another uh, Mamoru Hosoda um, uh, release, you know, film. Uh, absolutely loved Summer Wars, really great film. Uh, similarly with The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, you know, obviously, you know, it's just so great, it's just brilliant, obviously, and anybody needs to see it. Okay, uh, welcome to the Space Show. I was actually surprised at how great this was. Uh, this is like, kind of like a, a, it was almost like a TV series because it's actually really long. It's, I think it's over two hours long. So it's got a really long, like, you know, feature running in time. And, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's, I just don't hear people talking about this. I honestly don't. It's a really great sci-fi. Um, it's kind of like the Goonies in space. <laughs> it's strange. Uh, the Skycrawlers. Um... I think this is uh, Mamoru Oshii, the same director uh, who did the Ghost in the Shell um, uh, movie. Uh, I actually liked this a lot more than I thought it would. It was a really great story with a really great ending. Uh, next we have uh, Afro Samurai, the director's cut. I believe this is basically just like um, a rundown of the first season, I believe. Then there's like Afro Samurai Resurrection, which is like a, r a rundown of the second season. Uh, I don't really know much about Afro Samurai, um, but Samuel L. Jackson is a badass. Um, I, I don't understand why people don't consider this an anime when it totally is. I mean, it's produced by an anime by Gonzo, you know, an animation studio. Just because it's, you know, an English dub and it's featuring, like, a non-Japanese, you know, main character, you know, that doesn't mean it is an anime. So I don't understand people who say that. Uh, next we have uh, uh, Legend of the Millennium Dragon. Um, don't know much about this, but I've seen it, uh, you know, in HMV and, you know, places like that for many years. And I just decided to pick it up. Uh, blind buys, you know, I always blind buy. Um, first Squad, I know nothing about this, so I picked this up at the same time as Legend of the Millennium Dragon. Um, yeah, that is that. And uh, next, finally on the shelf, we have uh, Cowboy Bebop, the uh, DVD uh, complete series collection. Um, it's like a special edition hardcover from all the anime limited. Uh, it came with art cards, comes with a really nice dish tray. Um, I'm not going to get it out right now because I'm holding my phone to record. Uh, okay, so yeah, that was the penultimate thing I'm going to show you. Uh, next, and finally, the thing I'm going to show you is uh, my Gurren Lagann Shrine. As you can see, I've got the uh, the um, this sort of art card, you know, showing off there. It's showing off, you know, the number out of 2,000 of uh, you know, the copy of Gurren Lagann that I have. I did an unboxing of this, so uh, it's in like kind of my recent videos. If you want to check that out, I'm not going to get it all open now because it's just too much hassle. And then there's this, like my DVD shelf with like mis miscellaneous animes on like Mushishi, um, Dead Space. Well, that's not an anime, but it's released by Manga UK. Uh, and and this is actually um, a counterfeit copy of Dragon Ball Z movies, um, which I'm just I just keep anyway because I didn't know it was counterfeit when I bought it. Uh, a few games, you know, I've got Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch there, which is a pretty good game. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's been my anime collection. Uh, for the year 2014. Um, I'm not going to tell you about my book depository thing, uh, link because I don't think the book depository sells DVDs because obviously it's a book depository. But, uh, you know, if there are anybody, if there is anybody who wants to buy uh, manga, um, you know, for cheap, I will leave my book depository link in the description below anyway. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, tell me what you guys have got in your collection. You know, what is, what is your, like, favourite anime? I really need to do a top 10 favourite anime video, but I need to watch, like, more anime first, I think. So yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. See you later.